All right, part two, real quick. So it's a definitely a little, uh, just out of the truck for a little bit there, and it is a little creepy feeling up here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The moon reflecting on the trees and everything, but. for the BP. Okay, I guess I can turn the static. Oh, so let me turn it So again, I'm still on this, uh, got my pass to NF201. So I'm not 100% sure where this goes, even though I'm pretty sure I've been up here before. I think, I don't know, I really want to say there's a trailhead at the end of this. Okay, there's another off-roading type trail. Let's see if I can zoom in and get a picture of it. We'll look it up. This is 201A. I don't think I truck even go down there. Interesting. Start. Yeah, I think I'm going to start coming up here more often instead of going back to the place I have been going to for the last few months. I like that it cools off a little bit more up here and you get up into the pine trees and stuff. That adds the element of having bears into the equation, but uh, that's what I was thrilled about. But. More research bears, I think they're not really that, that interested in us. Unless we're in their environment. Well, we're in their environment. I'm in their environment right now. But as far as they're trying to protect their cubs and whatnot. As long as you're not storing a bunch of food while you're camping. Leaning close to the windshield, I think I do that to try and see over these little curves so I can drive off the edge. I enjoyed that, but I think I enjoyed it a little bit, a little more so at, at daylight.
have my uh, LED headlamp in my truck bed. I didn't see it inside anywhere. I can plug in, uh, I have an outlet thing set up in my truck bed where I can push this little button down here. One that's lit up. And I have electricity, so I can keep my uh, headlamp batteries charged while I'm driving, which is kind of cool. Or, another thing I could do is bring an air mattress and blow it up that way. Just plug it in. I hope I can do some, get outside as soon as, that, as soon as I find out where this ends. If it does, I mean, I don't know how long it, where it goes to, how far it goes. Um, I'd like to camp out tonight, enjoy the sounds and stars and everything out here somewhere. What the heck is on my windshield? Oh, it's on the inside. Spiderweb to the right over there that I just passed was gnarly looking. Hoping that dropped into my uh, truck. I would imagine this road is pretty dangerous during a monsoon storm, though. The way the hills are just up to the left. A little bit of a peek through. Get a little bit of the white saturation from the valley. Oh, that sounds out here nice. Okay, hopefully this comes to an end up here pretty soon, so I can end recording, finish my recording, figure out where I'm going to set up camp. That last the only other time I've went this far on this road. This is the same road. I thought it dead ended or there was a turnaround in the forest part and I came out of it, so I'm not really sure where this is gonna go. And again, I'm not nothing on my GPS, so I'm kind of driving blind here. Or maybe I just turned around back there. And so this may be all new to me. I assume it is. Got a lot of room there.
Oh, this does dead end. Kind of camped out over there. So I don't know if there's a trail head up here. I think there is. Okay, I thought so. I'm checking out real quick. So, thinking it's the Taunton National Monument. This area, I think. Oh, wait. Can't be up there. Here, maybe. Fantastic trail. Now, there's somebody over there camping, otherwise, I'd maybe just do right here. Yeah, I see, I don't like that stuff. You ever hear people go missing in, when it's more than one person? People doing stuff like this by themselves go missing all the time. The numbers are really pretty scary. You look into them. It's not reported on very much. But, uh, so, here. So, this is what I'm on right now. So, we must be. Wow, no. this one oh, here's Oh, this 201. Oh, I'm not sure. Where's the 87? So here's the 87. 627, that's what I, so I took the 80, so down here is like the valley. Came up here, took this FR 627. This also goes over here to Ord. Um, and so then I took this. It's like this one. That one, be that one down to the left. There's this trail that goes down. Oh, and I said the bridge is closed, so the bridge, I guess, would be down here by the, the water is. So that's kind of cool. So this must be Red Rock FR1681, four-wheel drive. Oh, you are here. Jeez, I'll clear up here. Awesome. So, yeah, there are these little... Si oh, there's that 17. One is the 701, and there's the 201 at my... It goes down to all the way back to the 201. Oh man, that might be an awesome drive. I'm not sure I want to do that at night for the first time, but so yeah. And then this uh, trail, wow! Oh, that is just fantastic. Passage 23, passage passage 22. So yeah, it goes all the way up in through the through Tonto. Oh wow, it's really neat. Really neat. So anyone, anyone happens to know anything about this person? Joseph S. Dillman. I'll read that when I get home. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of people been missing. My fog lights are off. Oh, it's too much. Right? Dang me. Okay, so let's turn around real quick. This is always something up here. Pretty 
this little setup. It's got a hammock and everything. That's awesome. Okay, so I have been on this road and I didn't go that far because I thought there was a little trail headed at the end. So over here to the left, if you can't tell tonight, but it's so beautiful. All the, all the trees that go through the valley down there. I'm really tempted to take that uh, 201, 201A. Really tempted. I <laughs> had a hammock and everything. That's how you do it. And he had zero fear probably of mountain lions or bears. Just enjoying himself. Really need to get to that point. Working on it somewhat. So when the sun comes up in the morning, he'll be looking right over to the left. Have fantastic views. So anyways, on that missing persons thing, I think it's called Missing 401. Um, if somebody wants to look into that. 411 maybe. I think it might be 411 actually. Missing 411. Um, but yeah, it's in our national and state forest. Happens so very often each year. And for some reason, doesn't get reported on. And that's why the number of, in my opinion, the number of deaths by uh, wildlife like mountain lions and bears and whatnot is so low. Um, because these people are never found. I wonder what those are down there. So that is like the northwest. So that could be Payson, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, so a lot of times I just think these people that go missing. Um, of course, there's a lot of people out there. And I kind of am in this camp as well, I think. Could be, air quotes, UFOs. I don't know why I'm using air quotes, UFOs. I'll just say UFOs. Um, that's certainly a possibility as well. But I think the numbers... Oh, can I camp out over there? Look, what's this? Oh, this is just part of the trail. So very cool. But anywho, um, what I was basically saying is a lot of people go missing, it's just not reported on. And I think a lot of that is wildlife. Um, there's no way, they can't put those, they can't say because the remains are gone and they're gone, so. So why I think about this stuff when I come up here, these kind of places. <laughs> Boy, this would be a great spot to set up right here with that light saturation. I think what I'm going to do is go back up here into the forest. This other part of the forest that was up here. Let's see if I can go in there. Yeah, you could take this road. I'm just thinking about the trail up here that I might do that uh, 201A, 201A. You could take, I mean, a two-wheel drive SUV up here, no problem. Absolutely no problem. There's a couple spots where I think a regular passenger car would have had some trouble, but um, yeah, most vehicles can make come up on this road, so that's kind of cool. We're going to drive up into a really neat spot, camp out. Some lights down over there too, just a few of them. To the left. I always find that interesting.
trying to see if they're moving or not. Yeah, it's possible that's maybe traffic on 87. I don't see, I don't think they're moving. So, I don't know. Just seeing that other human being really calmed me down a little bit. I was getting a little anxious. There is uh, cell tower. There is cell towers on top of Ord, which, as a crow flies, is only a couple of miles away. So I may have a signal right now. I don't know. I know you do on Ord when you go up to Ord, which I think is one reason why I would really like it. Hopefully, a gentleman that was on that sign was found. That sign was from that had been missing from since 2010. So hopefully, no one had got a chance to take it down. He was found, one way or another. Help his family out a little bit. I can't imagine. Um, I lost somebody really, really close to me. And that's an understatement uh, a few years ago, but I know what happened to her. I can't imagine losing someone and uh, really losing someone. I don't like that phrase, losing somebody when somebody passes away. They're not lost. They're not keys. But in the case of somebody actually that goes missing, you, are, you have lost them. So, I mean, you think you'd do anything you could to find them. I mean, that would just overwhelm you. I mean, it would me anyway. I just feel for those people. That's pretty difficult. Clockwise. That must be part of the trail. sleeping bear. Oh, I must have a really vivid imagination. Or is it a dead bear? I'm not getting out to find out though. What the fuck? Why 
aren't those ears? Yeah, that's clearly a bear. Zero cares right now. Worked to dead. Yeah, that's a bear. No doubt about it. Well, of course that's a bear or something. Why won't it move? what the naked eye looks like a bear. I mean, it really does. <laughs> That's really what I, if I had my stinking headlamp in here, I have my thing for my Unit. Well, anyway, it's <laughs> not a bear. By the way, I doubt they'd be camped or sleeping right by the trail. I've only seen a bear one time. I've heard them. I've been pretty confident that I felt them nearby. Um, but definitely only one time for sure, and that was in Oregon. And a mom and her, I think it was two cubs were crossing a pretty it was a major, pretty right by major, I mean it was a paved road up in the mountains. So that was a neat experience. Talk about bear country. I just had to be a bear. Unable to establish data. Oh no, I guess I don't have signal. I don't know why it just alerted me about that. Maybe I had it dropped right there. Huh? That guy back there didn't think when I honked I was having something wrong. He doesn't come to that help. I think I'd go and check if I heard something else on the computer. So that probably wasn't very smart on my part. Here's the Here's that one road, the 201A, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Just because it could get pretty gnarly. No, I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm definitely going to wait. What's that noise? Wow, the stuff I hear, I tell you. Yeah, I'm going to wait until I get my new tires put on. I think what I'm going to do, unfortunately, is um, 
head back to this one trailhead area that's not far from the 87 and set up there. Just because um, I can still hear the traffic noise from the 87. And that's the one spot I had, I would just call it an unusual experience. Um, praying, looking up in the stars, praying and talking to my mom. Had some stuff happen. So, and I haven't been back there since. That was last, just over a year ago. And uh, so anyways, I'm gonna head back. I think I'm gonna go down there, which I was gonna do in eventually anyways. Um, and just uh, see if I can get that to happen again. Have an exceptional experience. One more time. So I'm just gonna finish, I guess, 38 minutes here. And just about exactly five minutes to go until it's recording and stop. Just in case I happen to see anything cool or scary. And there's five minutes. I think there had to be a bear back there though. Man, if I was on those wildflower situations I was on last, last week, I would have probably just had a heart attack when I see it. Although maybe I would have got out and tried to pet it. I don't know. I don't know, it was an interesting night. I was seeing stuff that made me scared, but then I also got out of my truck when there was tarantulas around, which is something I would never normally do, so. I don't know. Oh, well, here's that spot I was gonna be, be kind of, I think I could just back up in there and set up my tent. As a matter of fact, I know I could. It's really a, really a great spot. You have views looking towards the east, towards the uh, city lights, and then uh, over here. But prime bear country. Oh, this smells so good up here. It smells so wonderful. Yeah, I think I could just, this would be a really a great spot to set up. <laughs> Out got shot birds. Can't do it. I need to get a new holster. This thing is getting too waste. All right. So, I'm gonna end this, I think. And I don't know where I'm gonna go for sure. I'm gonna go to that one campground, or that one beginning of that trailhead, and just kind of. Look up at the stars for a few hours. Or, I don't know. 
What is today? Saturday, Sunday morning? Yeah, I can't really go up to pace in the night. Well, I could, but... Wow, where does that go? I wonder if I could drive down there. I wonder if that's just part of the trail. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to try it tonight. You. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Not really getting anything to show up here. One last view of the city lights. Really pretty. That almost feels like it's the same distance as from the other location. As a crow flies. So anyways, alright, that's it.